<clears throat> Y'all, I want you to see something real quick. So, I don't remember how long ago. Okay. Death and mourning and famine. She will be burned up with fire. The voice of the bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. At this point, remnant is gone. I believe that means Holy Spirit is gone too. Then there's the marriage supper of the Lamb. And you know how his verses mean multiple things? Remember that verse? I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. New heaven and new earth. New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. The one who conquers, the one who overcomes will have this heritage. I was actually looking for something else that came out of Miko's mouth, but I'm actually very disappointed. It's a creator on TikTok. Because he made it sound like this verse was to the remnant, and it's not. The beast was captured with it. The false prophet had done da, 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 da. You guys can read that. And received the mark of the beast. And those who worship the, this image, these two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. And the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him who was sitting on the horse. And all the birds were gorged with their flesh. Miko made the sound like this was the remnant. This is not the remnant. This is the beast and the false prophet and those who received the mark. I am very disappointed, very disappointed in this creator. And then when this creator was talking about the sand of the sea, he made it, he, he made it sound like he was talking about the remnant. I'm going to have to pull this clip up again. He was saying their number is like the sand of the sea. And he was making that sound like the remnant. That's not the remnant. It's the people that Satan gathers that's like the sand of the sea. So imagine how huge this battle is going to be. Now, I'm going to see if I can pull that clip up from that creator and and and, and uh, confirm that this was deceitful. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was deceitful. And if it was, it's going to come after this video. What I thought I was going to find was that the remnant was the remnant became like the sands of the sea during the millennial reign, because that's what he had said. And I was going to compare that to what I had previously read. But let me show you one more thing. This is where Harpazo is used again, and I'll put the verse in the comment. Pause to read really quick. But listen to this, verse 39. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azotus, a different physical location. This is also Harpazo used in Thessalonians. So I absolutely believe that after the Antichrist and all these things, the gathering is translation Harpazo. <clears throat> Y'all, I want you to see some way. Just like in the book of Revelation chapter 19, it talks about This is crazy. These there's two verses in this video that are misconstrued and I just read it. So it's going to make sense why this is so crazy if you watch the ending of the video under this video. Listen to the ending of this video under this video. So in this little stitch part talking about the remnant were slain, it's not the remnant, it's the rest. It's not the remnant of God, the 144K. And you guys just got to watch the ending of the last video. So I'm only going to tell you about this part, but there's another verse that's misconstrued in this video. Completely false but as for this little part i stitched and the beast was captured and with it the false prophet who in its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshiped its image these two the ones who received the mark and those who worshiped its image were thrown in the lake of fire that burns with soul it says the beast and the false prophet were thrown into the lake of fire then it says, the rest. The rest who? The rest who worshipped its image. Not the remnant. Not the 144K that stands on Mount Sion with Jesus. And then just watch the ending of the video below this to see the other verse that was completely misconstrued. And guys, the video under this, it's a must listen all the way through. All the way through. It's a must listen. Cheers. Thank you, Lord, for showing me this at 3 in the morning. I got to turn this light off. And once again, this is why you don't cherry pick. Notice it just said verse 21. That was it. What is up with that? What is up with that? Guys, we need to be opening the Bible for our freaking selves because 
people can be out here looking great, sounding great, sounding so knowledgeed up with the word and still be deceiving you guys. Okay, so let me double back what I posted last night. Let me double back it because he is clearly saying that it is the remnant that we're not, and he's saying the, <laughs> you guys, you can just watch. As the sand of the sea. Just like in the book of Revelation chapter 19, it talks about the remnant, and it says here in verse 21, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. He who sat on the horse is Jesus Christ, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. What's the only sword that can proceed out of the mouth of Jesus, our Lord and God? The word of God. Then it says, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. To most people that read this, they'll say, well, they were killed. But then you read in Revelation 20, at verse 8, it says, And shall go out to deceive the nations, Satan, will deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. Then it says, The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Now we should ask the question, how do we even have as many people as the sands of the sea? When we know in Revelation 19, when Jesus returns, the only ones that were alive is the Antichrist, the false prophet, those that were the army that are with the Antichrist and false prophet, and those that took the mark of the beast, and the remnant, the remnant that survived the tribulation period. We all know that four out of those five, the Antichrist, false prophet, the army that is with the Antichrist and false prophet, and those that took the mark of the beast, were thrown into the lake of fire alive. That would mean that the only ones that are alive at the point after Jesus throws all of them in the lake of fire is the remnant. That remnant is not that many people. But yet, the number of them is the sand of the sea at the end of the 1,000 years. You know what that means? That means that that remnant had babies, and a lot of them, during the 1,000 years. But we just read about how they were slain by the word of God, the sword that proceeded out of Jesus' mouth. Meaning that this scripture is not actually telling you that they were killed in the traditional manner. We're going to find out what it means when we get there. But obviously they're still alive if they had babies. Meaning they were killed in some other way. Now let's be very clear. In this verse, they are unalived and it's not the remnant. The sword is actually unaliving, which is why it goes on to talk about being filled with the, being gorged with the fowls. It's not the remnant. And when he says the remnant is not that many people, he's talking about 144,000, which is not many people. So he came into my comment section acting as if he wasn't talking about the remnant. But then he says it's not many people. He is talking about the remnant. Plus, he also says the remnant. Now, let's read what the Bible really says again. After these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great 
Guys, you know what? I'm not going to read this again. I read this two videos down at the end of the video. Go watch what the Bible really says or open your Bibles for yourself. But just this little part right here, okay? <clears throat> the beast was taken and the false prophet, okay? And the ones that received the mark. The beast was taken and with him the false prophet that did the miracles with which he deceived them that received the mark. So the beast, the false prophet, and those they deceived. Then it's saying, it's the beast and the false prophet that were thrown into a lake of fire. This is all like happening in, in like basically a moment. I mean, this is happening together, okay? This is why this is said together. Then this all happens together, okay? These both were cast into a lake of fire, the, the beast and the false prophet. Then the remnant, which remnant? This remnant, okay? The ones that received the mark. That's the remnant it's talking about here. Now, the crazy thing is, I think King of Kings is a very deceitful book, um, King James, because check this out. Because in ESV, <clears throat> in ESV, once again, Beast was captured with it, the prophet, who in his presence had done the signs, which deceived those who received the mark, okay, and worshipped its image. These two, the prophet and the beast, were thrown in the lake. And the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth. This is actually being unalived. This is not not being unalived. This is actually being unalived. Slain. They were slain and the birds ate them. Now, this is actually beautiful because his word is like a double edged sword. In Revelation, we're actually going to get to see how it cuts because Jesus is the word of Jesus is the word. We're gonna get we're gonna get to see the word actually cutting. This is do you, wow King James version. This is why sometimes I like to go to two different versions. The remnant here is actually the people that are 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 those that actually succumb to the beast and the false prophet, not the actual one forty four k. And they weren't left alive. They were actually unalived. This has nothing to do with the 144,000 having babies when it's when it talks about Gog and Magog. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea is not the remnant. It's not the 144,000 and their babies. It's an effect of Satan being loosed after the 1,000 year millennial reign. Who's going to help Christ reign for 1,000 years? It says here, I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and i saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of jesus and for the word of god and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with christ for a thousand years and then it says this okay <laughs> Satan had been in a prison the whole time, apparently. The beast and the false prophet are different. After the thousand-year millennial reign, Satan is loosed out of his prison. And they shall go out and deceive the nations, which are in the fourth corners of the earth. Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. They went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints. So this is not the remnant, because it says that the remnant are our saints. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who understands calculate the number of the beast. Then I looked and behold, on Mount Zion stood the lamb and with him 144K who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a voice from heaven. Da, 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 da. You can keep reading. It is those who have not defiled themselves with women for they are virgins. This is talking about once again, Jezebel and her children, Jezebel and the fruits thereof. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever it goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb. And in their mouth, no lie was found, for they are blameless. So this is the other translation. Whenever Satan is released, the other translation is they marched up over the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. But fire came down from heaven and consumed them. The devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire. So if the 144,000 were, were blameless, then how, the, how did they also get deceived? This is not talking about the 144,000. But not to mention, here's other proof of what I said about Revelation 7. 
that the ones that came out of the tribulation on Revelation 7, it's not speaking of this current tribulation. Because what does it say about this current tribulation that's about to happen? They don't, they don't be, they're not resurrected from being unalived until Revelation 19. They're not resurrected from being unalived until Revelation 19. Which means Revelation 7 was not speaking of those that are unalived in this tribulation. There was another great tribulation. That's how Isaiah, Jeremiah, Mark, Luke, John, and all these chapters are being mirrors for us for today because they went through tribulation then. Once again, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his mark on their foreheads or in their hands. And I do apologize because I was a little off on who reigned with Christ. It's the ones that were unalived, you guys. So if you are unalived during this time for God, you will reign with Christ for a thousand years. Once again, they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. So if they're now coming to life, how did they come to life in Revelation 7 when they are when they have their white robes on and they're in the sky? No, they hadn't even come to life yet. That's talking about the prophets of old, like Jeremiah, that went through great tribulation. I'm saying like Jeremiah. But the disciples and the prophets that went through great tribulation then, that were out of time. Okay, so...